What's going on YouTube, Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing a chlorophyll Leafeon team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Leafeon, this Pokemon is very niche and you don't really see it too much in the competitive scene or even on the ranked ladder. But if you pair it up with the Sunsetter, this Pokemon's pretty good. So we're gonna be looking to grab some wins for you guys. Now let's talk about Leafeon's build a little bit more as it's rocking chlorophyll to double its speed in the sun. It's got Assault Vest as item, then a great move set of Leaf Blade, Trailblaze, Knock Off, and Terra Blast with that Fire Terror type. So you can still do some big time damage with Terra Blast in the sun. Our Sunsetter and Restricted Pokemon for today's video going to be Coridon or Calcum Pulse and a clear amulet as item. It's got Collision Course, Breaking Swipe, Flare Blitz, and Protect, a pretty normal moveset for any Coridon. Our final four Pokemon on today's team is straight meta. We got Tornadus, we got Fluttermane, Walking Wake, and Shen Pao. Shen Pao going to be a big time physical attacker, Tornadus going to be our weather control and speed control Pokemon, and Walking Wake and Fluttermane great special attackers, especially within the sun. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing this Leafeon Sun team. Going up against the dreaded turtle in match number one, Terrapagos. They also have Frigoraph, so they can pop Trick Room if they want. And then they're rocking Fluttermane, Amoongus, Incineroar, and last but not least, Urshfu. So if I had to guess one of their lead Pokemon, it would definitely be Incineroar or Amoongus, right? With Terrapicos, I feel like that's got to be your lead. But who should I go into and how should I play this? I could go into Tornadus if I want to. I could taunt up to Terrapicos just so it can't do anything, right? I can't really set up Calm Mind Boost. That could be pretty good. Um, I could just go straight into like Coridon. And I could go in with Leafeon too, but then you could just intimidate me. I could go Walk and Wake here and just set up the sun. That's not bad. That's not bad, but I feel like taunting this trap ghost is going to be better in our favor. So I'm going to go Coridon. I am going to go Tornadus here. And on top of that, we're going to bring Leafeon in the back end with either Walking Wake or Fluttermane. And with the Choice Specs Fluttermane, that's not bad, especially because you're going to get a speed boost in the sun. And they have no way of changing weather. They could honestly just uh, Terrasilize with Trap Ghost. That's a thing. But I mean, we have two weather control Pokemon. So I think I like this Choice Spec Fluttermane late game. I love it. I love it. Especially if sun's out, we got that speed boost. We're going to be outspeeded. I can just choice into like Dazzle and Gleam. Big time damage across the board. We love Fluttermane. Fluttermane is just so good. It's the most consistent Pokemon in this game. Ever since day one, or not, I couldn't, I can't say day one because it wasn't released until like the second format. But ever since it's been released into the format, it has just been insanely strong. But we're going to end up seeing Terrapagos and uh, Frigoraph come out here. And it kind of sucks considering I can't use Taunt on this thing anymore. But I can just start attacking. So I could just go into like a Bleakman Storm. Maybe just throw a Collision Course. But yeah, I'm just going to go Bleakman Storm and go into... I guess just a Collision Course here. Go into the Trap Ghost slot. Because even if he does take away Weather, we should still be able to do a nice chunk of damage. But we're going to see a Hard Swap here. Turn 1, go into who? Who are you going to cook into here? Incineroar. So you might even Protect here. But I do have Clear Amulet for my, my Karidon, which is good. So no Protect. No Protect comes out here. That's actually good news. Kind of sucks that this thing is Terror Shelled. Because I would have loved for Bleak Wind Storm to actually just connect first. So we end up dropping that. Not very effective, but still decent damage across the board. Bleak Wind Storm's going to fly. Can hit somebody. Does hit somebody. And it's going to hit Terrapagos, which we love. So Terrapagos is going to take some damage here. And he's going to go for a Meteor Beam. Oh, no. Who are you taking out? Who are you taking out? You got your picks here. Probably Tornadus, right? We will probably see Tornadus drop out here. We do not have Tailwind, which kind of sucks. But, I mean, bringing out Choice Specs Fluttermane might be in our best interest right now. Just Terrastalizing. Sending Dazzling Gleams. If you want to fake out my Karidon, go for it. I'm all about it. I am all about it. Yeah, we could bring out Leafeon, though. No, I'd rather save Leafeon. I'd rather save Leafeon, because I don't think you're going to Terrastalize. Uh... I don't think you're going to Terrastalize. What's it called? I don't think he Terrasilized Terrapagos, and I think we could just go here, we could just go Dazzle Gleam with a Terra type, send it, and then just hard swap into Leafeon here. And the reason I say hard swap into Leafeon is because my Fluttermane is going to be fast on the field. It should be able to take out Terrapagos without any issues, plus I think they're faking out Coridon, so I think it's a pretty free swap in. And then if they decide to Terrasilize Terrapagos here and take out Weather, we can just swap Coridon in next turn. I'm going to bring out Leafeon, get it cooking. Get it out here. Love me some Leafeon. 
I'm curious to see how much damage this Dazzle Gleam does. I'm very curious because it's not only Stab, but it's Terra Boosted, and on top of that, it's Choice Spec Boosted. That's why I, sh I said it should have no problem taking out Terrapagos. Um, yeah, I think we're fine here. I think we are fine here. And they are going to end up Terrasalizing. This has got to be Terrapagos, and it is, so... Good call on my end to actually swap. We should out still outspeed this trap ghost with a 190 base speed on Fluttermane. And I think we still KO, so this just might be a waste of a turn here. This might just be a waste of a turn. Sunlight's gone. Protosynthesis is gone, no problem. We still should outspeed. He fakes out the crowd on slot like I thought you would. And Dazzle Gleam's still gonna fly here and do an insane amount of damage. So trap ghost, I think you still die here, correct? You don't. You out bulk here? That really sucks. This Terra Sarsum KOs me. That really sucks. I just need Leafeon soaking this up. Leafeon, can you soak here? Leafeon soaks? Okay. Leafeon soaks. We get to bring back out Sun. Wow, I really thought you were doing more damage, but Terrapic Ghost is just so bulky, man. Plus, it gets back some HP whenever it uh, transforms. But now I'm just going to go into here. I think, for the most part, you are going to swap him to the I'd be surprised if you don't. Um, hmm. What is my play here? You do have Frigoraph. I think we just go into Collision Course here, correct? Take out you and then say Leaf Blade takes out you. I'm with that. Let's see what he ends up doing. Are you swapping the Frigoraph? Or not the Frigoraph, the Incineroar? That's my real question. That is my real question. Hmm. There's the Incineroar swap. Are you going into- Please don't be Fluttermane. i will be so upset if this is Fluttermane. It's definitely Fluttermane, ain't it? Don't be Fluttermane. It's Frigraph. Okay, we can deal with Frigraph. He ends up protecting the Terrapagos. So Terrapagos gets to protect here. We know he has Incineroar. Um, Intimidate's going to affect my Leafeon just, just, just a tad bit. A Collision Core is still going to fly here and chuck up some damage into Frigraph. How much damage are we talking? About half. So from here, um, I think we're just going to do the same thing. I think we're just going to do the same thing. I could actually switch it over. And go collision course into you. And switch this to knockoff. Because knockoff is super effective. I'm going to hope that knockoff can KO. Let's see. And if he goes into Incineroar, we just take off items. I think that's fine. I think that's fine, but our opponent's actually playing this one really well, and I kind of expected my Fluttermane to do a bit more damage than that. I really thought we could just take out the Terrapagos and really just start thriving in this battle, but it's not looking that way. But Knockoff's going to fly here. It does pick up the KO, which we love. Push, of course, is going to slide over, and that's going to pick up the KO onto Terrapagos. So they have Incineroar. They have Fake Out ready to go, um, and we get to find out their final Pokemon. The Collision Course crushing that. How many turns are left in Sun? That's the real question. How many turns are left in Sun? What is it? Two or three? We should definitely have two or three. Alright. I see. They don't have Terra either. Who is your final Pokemon? Incineroar and who? Is it Fluttermane? Because if it's Fluttermane, I I'm surprised you didn't swap into that. Let's see. It's going to be Incineroar. Show me like Amoongus or something. Amoongus would be awesome. It was Fluttermane. They, they didn't bring it out. So clear Amulet Cooks. We pretty much had to double down into Fluttermane after this turn. And the reason I say we have to double down in Fluttermane is because it just does an insane amount of damage to my Coridon. And are you faster than my Coridon? You're not faster than my Sylveon. And my Coridon might outspeed you. Hmm, I don't know. Fluttermane's cooking. Fluttermane is cooking. I'm just going to protect here. And honestly... What do I go for here? I just got to go for a Leaf Blade here. I gotta just go for Leaf Blade. He's gonna go for Dazzle Gleam here, which sucks, but I'm protecting you. I'm gonna read the fake out of this slot, even though you might you might send it to Leafeon. You do send it to Leafeon. GG's, that's game. That just finishes it off. The only the only shot we have now. Oh wait, no, you don't K you don't go for Gleam. You don't go for Gleam. You don't go for Gleam. That is surprising. We have to try to get rid of Fluttermane. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to go into a Leaf Blade here. Looking to do as much damage as we possibly can. You don't go for Gleam? That's super surprising. Fluttermane protects, and we're doubling down into this thing. So now it's definitely GG, unless my Crydon outspeeds, right? Unless my Crydon outspeeds, that's the only way. 
Unless you don't go after Leafeon. That'd be weird, though. You have to take out my Leafeon. You have to take out my Leafeon. Yeah. So there's Flutter Blitz. The only way we win this match is if my Crydon outspeeds our Flutter Main. Which, I mean, it definitely has a shot, but I, I, I would think that this Flutter Main's kind of boosted more into speed. But special attack is higher than speed. We already know that due to Protosynthesis. But we're going to go for Flare Blitz here. It's not sad, but she will still should do a ridiculous amount of damage in the sun. We... Um... Yeah, we, we need outspeed. That's the only way we win this match. And we don't outspeed. So, yeah. Regardless, we were probably losing this match once this thing started targeting down my Cryodon. GG's to our opponent. Close match. Moving on to our second match. And it looks like we're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex Trick Roomish team. They got a Ranguru who can instruct, which we definitely don't like. So, I gotta watch out for that. They also have Shadow Rider Calyrex. They got Torkoal. They got... Ursaluna, they got Gouging Fire, and Sinistra. Okay, um, Thornatus isn't going to be bad here, especially because of Taunt. They, they have two Trick Room users, which is going to be Oranguru and Sinistra. And if they don't want to set Trick Room, we can just pop a Tailwind and kind of get after it that way. But I could go into Karai on here. Nice little Sun action. Closure Course can do some nice damage. I do like Walking Wake here as well. And last but not least, do we go Leafeon? I don't know if I want Leafeon. Leafeon could be good, but it could also be bad. Fluttermane could be good too. But it could also be bad. Hmm. I mean, we get the speed boost from the sun, and the sun is the only weather on the field. So, I mean, we should just go into our big time attackers here, right? Fluttermain, Walking Wake, while sun is just a thing, right? Yeah, I'm about it. I like this a lot. So, we'll see who they want to end up leading here. If they don't go into any Trick Room users or, like, Instruct users, we're just going to, you know, start attacking and maybe pop a Tailwind. But if they do, we're just going to have to taunt and kind of go from there, right? So we'll see these two pop out here. I think it's safe for us to just uh, taunt the Ranguru. You could be Mental Herb or Ranguru. Oh, that could be a problem. You could indeed be Mental Herb. And I might make the call that you are Mental Herb. I could still pop a Tailwind. You could go for Follow Me. You know what? We're going to go for Tailwind turn one. We're going to go for Tailwind. I'm going to Terrasalize Fire. I'm just going to send it this way. That's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. I need speed here. I need speed control. I need to take over. You could go for Trick Room. You could go for Trick Room. It's definitely an option. It's definitely an option. But we're going to see a Terra pop out here. But I don't I don't think you're going for Trick Room. I really think you're trying to attack me. Maybe go for like a follow me. There's a Fairy Terror type. Fairy Terror type popping out here. I do not think you're popping the Trick Room. So I'm going to go for Tailwind. No Trick Room, hopefully. That's the one thing we're hoping. Is no trick room because my Karidon should be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage into this uh, Calyrex, maybe even KO it. Let's see how this one plays. Follow me, maybe. What you got? Don't you dare be trick room. Don't you dare be trick room. It might be instruct here. Flare Blitz is flying. KO this bad boy. KO this thing. All right, that's cool. Waste your Terra. Do all that stuff. Um. Like the question is, is it Trick Room? That's the question. That's the question at hand. Is it Trick Room? Please don't be Trick Room. It's Trick Room. Alright, so we got rid of Shadow Rider Calyrex. Man, we gotta waste out some Trick Room turns now. We have got to waste out some Trick Room turns here. They're gonna go in Air Saloon, right? Torkoal. Alright, so Torkoal comes out here. Definitely gonna taunt you. And we're just going to protect here. This is probably like an instruct kind of kind of torquil move. It might be mental herb too, which is just a problem. Which is why I didn't go into taunt turn one. See? Exactly. Exactly. And earth power is going to fly, which we block. So I can swap Karidon out here into like walking me. If I want to. And I'm just going to taunt the Oranguru again. Do I sacrifice Karidon here? We definitely want to taunt you. Do I sacrifice Karidon? Or do I go into Walk and Wake? I'm going to go into Walk and Wake. I think... Hmm. Do we think he goes for a Fire Moon? I'm swapping a Walk and Wake. 
I'm gonna swap it and walk away. Because if I can just survive this turn, I can protect next turn. That's good news for us. That's good news. So we're slowly wasting out these circum turns. We go into our walking wake, which is pretty good. Speed tightens, doesn't even matter. Trickroom and taunt is gonna fly. And we're keeping this thing under control, right? We are keeping this Orangaroo under control. Can't really have it chilling here. So we taunt it. He is gonna go for another Earth Power. We end up soaking that really well with walking wake. And you cannot instruct me anymore. That's fine by me. Um, I think now we just try to land some Bleakwind Storms. And we just protect our boy. Wasting out these Trickroom turns. And they canceled a match. So match number two going to your boy. We were wasting out those trick room turns. We were winning that match, no problem. Moving on to our final match. Looking for a 2-1 winning record. And we're going up against another trick room team. Trick room is just so hard, especially with this team right here. And last match, we were able to waste it out pretty well. Kind of get under our opponent's skin, and they just canceled the match. But this one seems like it's going to be a bit tougher with Ice Rider, Calyrex, Electabuzz. I should say follow me, Electabuzz. Ursa Luna, Phorygraph, Annihilate. That could be Final Gambit, Annihilate, and Smeargle. Okay, um... Who are we rocking? We could go into like our ghost types here. We kind of dodge fake out slash final gambit. And that is something I kind of like. But I mean, hmm. It's just tough. I could go Cobra Cloak and just be able to taunt. Just a problem for us. I like they have a lot of different options. That's just a problem for us. I'm going to go into both of these guys. I'm gonna go into my sun combo right off the rip. I'm gonna get real sunny with it. Hmm. No, we're not. We are not. We're gonna go Flutter Main here. I think Flutter Main alongside with like Shen Pao for some big time damage is gonna be good for us. And then we're gonna bring the weather combo in the back end. Taunt isn't really gonna do anything for us, because if they wanna set up Trick Room, they can legit just go in the Frigoraph and stop my my uh taunts. So it's like, dude, Trick Room is tough for us. We are 1-1. One one. Would love to go 2-1. But this one's going to be a tough victory for us if we do end up pulling it off. I don't know if we can, though. Team's very niche. Very niche right now. Let's see. Who you got cooking here? Burger F and Smeagol. Okay, I don't mind that. Um, I don't mind that. So I could just go Ghost Type here. Do I go Ghost Type? Definitely want Terror you and just then get Dash and Gleams across the floor. Um, I could honestly just protect you. I could Sacred Sword this thing. You could fake me out. I mean, they're going to get off Trick Room regardless, right? My Sacred Sword can KO. I just could protect you. I think you go for Follow Me anyway. I really do, so. I just could protect you and Terrasalize our Flutter Main rather than Terrasalize Ghost. And read and fake out. I think follow me to play instead of fake out. I think they want Smeargle to die out. And this could honestly be good for us just leaving Smeargle on the field. Because if they could set up Trick Room, we could start wasting these Trick Room turns out a bit more. And we're just protecting our Shen Pao. Maybe I should attack. I don't know. I think go for fake out. Okay. So I could have Terrasalized and just double down into this for a graph, which. Do we think we could have did enough damage with Ice Spinner and. Moonblast? Yeah, probably. But I mean, Smeargle's on the field right now, and they got off Trick Room. Um, they're gonna- they're sporing somebody, which is the worst part. But I mean, if you spore somebody, that's just gonna leave Smeargle on the field a little bit longer. I, th I feel like they want Smeargle dead, more so than anything. Right, I think they want Smeargle dead, more so than anything. But we're gonna go for an Ice Spinner here. We're gonna hope that they don't spore us. Chances are, he's sporing us, right? <laughs> like, it's Smeargle. I- I can't- I can't not say he's not gonna spore us. Yeah, there it is. There's a Spore on Smeargle. We probably should have taken out Smeargle. So annoying. I hate that Pokemon. He's just going to Spore spam me. He's going to go for Terror Blast and a Shen Pao. Which actually does nice damage. Fluttermane is slumped. Here we go. The Spore Show. Can Ice Spinner KO? I think it does. We should have doubled down into Frigoraph last turn. And actually, it doesn't KO. We would have had the Moon Blast. But I don't mind not having a KO. Because I could just do this and protect Waste Out Spore and Shrimping Turns. We're wasting out turns, baby. That's 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 our that's our one key here. We got our fast, speedy Pokemon in the back end. Just gotta waste out these Trick Room turns. That's all we gotta do. That's all we gotta do. Fluttermane slumped. Hopefully, he gets a one turn sleep. That'd be awesome. Shen Pao, we're just protecting with him, putting up a nice little block, and he's going for Spore. That's all he wants. That's all he's looking to do is go Spore, Spore, Spore. 
gonna go for Terror Blast. Let's do some damage on my Fluttermane. And again, it does respectable damage. Wake up, Fluttermane. I need you waking up, Fluttermane. So he's gonna put my Shen Pao to sleep again. Uh, we know that. I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. And if I can, I'd rather just Ice Spinner down this uh, Smear and take it out. But hey, we wasted out some good Trick Room turns so far. Ends up withdrawing Frigoraph in hopes that I'm still asleep. Please tell me I'm not asleep this turn. Please tell me I wake up. I have to wake up this turn. I have to wake up this turn. This turn, I have to wake up. This turn, I have to wake up. Because he's spore my Shen Pao. We already know this is coming. And I need to wake up and KO this Smeargle. I need to wake up here. Fluttermane, wake up. No three turn sleeps. Not allowed. Let's go, Fluttermane. Let's go, Fluttermane. That's a big time wake up. Dazzle Gleam's going to be able to drop the uh, Smeargle. He's going to be able to do some damage into uh, Calyrex like I just did. And if they don't bring out Frigger, if we can just throw a Sucker Punch now. So I wonder if they bring out Frigger or not. Actually, I mean, we can't Sucker Punch because we're asleep. Unless we wake up, one turn sleep would be awesome. And they end up going back into Frigger regardless. Okay. Um, the chances are Fluttermane's dead here. They could go for double trick room, which I doubt they do, right? There's no shot they go for double trick room. And from here, I'm just attacking. We have to KO at least one of them, so. If they go for double trick room. Nope, helping hand. Smart play on their end. Smart play for the helping hand, but hey, I mean, trick room's done. Trick room is done, which is good news for us. Trick room is done. I was going to say, there is a chance that they go for double trick room, which would have been awful. But we kind of cover that. But hey, Trick Room is done, and now I can bring out my son, my Sunny boys. My Sun Squad. My Sun Squad can come out here. The thing is, I kind of want to double down into this uh, Calyrex. But I don't think I can. I don't think I can. They still have Terra. It's most likely Water Terra, which is the worst part. It's most likely Water Terror, which is the worst part. I mean, I could just go into a Flare Blitz in this slot. But I think we have to make a read here. I mean, Breaking Swipe's not bad. Actually, we're going to go Breaking Swipe, and we're just going to go for a Leaf Blade. Because I really do believe it is Water Terror. Going into this Calyrex. And if it is, this could be a great call for us. Because Breaking Swipe will KO the Frigoraph. And if this is Water, we can KO with Leaf Blade. It's Fire! Why are you Fire? Why can't you be water like a normal Calyrex? Why can't you be normal like a... Or water like a normal Calyrex? And now that could be game. That's pretty much game. Pretty much game. Leaf Blade doing negative six. Breaking Swipe is going to drop attack. But we really need that to be water. I mean, we could have went for Collision Course. We could have, but I really want to KO the what's it called at the same time, the Frigoraph, just so it didn't go for Trick Room. And there's the Glacial Lance, double landing, double KOs. One and two record for today's video. So guys, tough day for us going one and two and grabbing ourselves a losing record. Leafeon did okay. I wish we could have grabbed ourselves a winning record with Leafeon, but let's be honest. This Pokemon is very niche. I mean, we went up against some teams that were just direct counters to Leafeon, and we couldn't really do much up against it. So... I'll take a, at least one win in today's video, so it's not as bad as it possibly could. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.